thank you for having me. Um, thank you to Arthur and Emily and Park Street and, and my fellow panelists. This is an exciting opportunity to share what Spirits Network is all about. Uh, we are a shoppable streaming entertainment network designed to deliver spirits right to your home. Uh, Spirits Network is not only on your TV, as you can see behind me, uh, Apple TV, we're an app like a Netflix or a Hulu that you can download. Uh, going to spiritsnetwork.com and signing up it allows you to access us on all the apps. So you can download us on Apple TV, Apple iOS, Android, and we have over 200 hours of streaming entertainment that enables consumers to learn about the world of premium spirits. Uh, we also have programming on wine as well. And we are excited to help the industry tell their story to consumers. We understand that there are a lot of different options, uh, as you know from some of the panelists here, uh, discussing ways for brands to engage with consumers. So Spirits Network is streaming entertainment with home delivery and enables consumers to buy what they see right from their TV. What you'll notice, uh, whether you're on your TV or your mobile device in the lower left-hand corner, uh, there is a buy bar or, or a tray that comes up. Uh, and with one click, with a little lightning bolt, you can actually purchase it uh, in one take, you know, one action. Uh, and then you can also create wish lists, uh, a locker of things that you love and you want to reorder. And our system is designed to help you discover. So the more that you purchase through Spirits Network, the more that you engage with Spirits Network and content, uh, you actually can learn more, but you can also help the system learn about you. Uh, the more you do, the more we can recommend. We recommend both content and we recommend product. Uh, we have an opportunity to drive not only uh, discovery for consumers, but for brands, we can actually help tell your story in a meaningful and authentic way. The way that we drive this experience is through brand partnerships. And we also work in a three-tier compliant system uh, with retail partnerships. Uh, we have fulfillment partners that uh, include you know, mini bar, reserve bar. We also work with retailers directly uh, to fulfill these orders. The challenge the industry has been seeing with fulfillment and allocation, uh, we're not immune. So Spirits Network is both solving some of those challenges and facing some of those challenges. And what we have found is that the consumers that are, are gravitating towards our network are really highly engaged enthusiasts, uh, high net spend, um, highly you know, uh, excited about learning about mixology and the world of whiskey and understanding how it's made and the stories behind it. And what we've seen through the COVID period, which has been an incredible transformation, uh, is the is a real influx in both membership. Uh, our membership is free, so you you do need to sign up and, and verify your age and provide an email address. And then when you go to make a purchase, you can then put in your credit card information. Um, we work with a, a network of retailers. We're supporting all of the local retailers that we can. Uh, we also recognize that people have a lot of time at home. Uh, unfortunately, quarantine uh, has kept us inside. And so we've seen over a 500% increase in, in membership since we started uh, and, and since we've uh, essentially entered this COVID period. People that really engage with the platform uh, you know, are visiting us multiple times a day. Uh, purchases, we've seen over 35% of our audience purchase spirits right from our channels. Uh, we think our experience extends itself to both bridging that gap between a marketplace and a storefront and an entertainment network. So similar to what Food Network did for culinary, we're doing for premium spirits. Um, our functionality and the way the technology works is really easy to use and ultimately on every device. So click to buy in the lower left-hand corner, uh, as well as a traditional storefront. So when you go to our site or our app, you will see discover, watch, store, uh, and those sections help you kind of have different user interfaces. So Discover is all about creating your user profile to drive discovery. Show me new content. I love whiskey. I love tequila. Uh, show me what's out there. Um, subscriptions range from free, which is watch and purchase on demand uh, with home delivery. Uh, we're able to deliver today in 30 states and in 50 cities. And then we also have a bottle of the month experience. So we have two levels, uh, both connoisseur, which is our highest end level, and enthusiast, 
Those allow you to get a full-size bottle delivered to your home every month. Uh, those bottles are handpicked by our curation team. We have some of the best curators in the industry. We're led by folks like Flavian Desiblin, Fred Minnick, Peggy No Stevens, Samara Rivers. We have folks that are really helping the consumer with their knowledge. You know, some of these uh, experts have spent their entire career in the world of spirits. And so they're helping you guide your, your spirits exploration, uh, building your profile and building your palette, if you will, as part of the spirits network experience. So understanding those, uh, those data points and understanding that from the consumer side allows us to really bring that to the brand partners that we work with. Uh, we work with large brand partners, you know, multinational spirits conglomerates, uh, you know, including Diageo, uh, Moet Hennessy, uh, Campari. And then we also work with smaller, uh, more independent brands uh, like Whistlepig uh, and others. And so our analytics tools allow us to drive that, uh, that data back to the brand in a very anonymous and kind of user profile component where they can see a total 360 picture. Uh, essentially, it's showing you what a customer is watching, what they're buying, uh, what, they're, what they're potentially going to buy. So if they put an item in their cart and they don't purchase it, or they put an item in their wish list and they don't purchase it. But something that's also kind of happened with us uh, recently in the COVID uh, you know, kind of environment is we have done a lot of virtual tastings. Uh, the virtual tasting experience for us is a whole new frontier. Uh, these are small groups of 30 to 40 people led by one of our curators that allows you to essentially connect and be in a virtual environment similar to a Zoom call uh, where you can now get bottles pre-delivered to you and you can have someone guide you through those tastings. We have found that to be incredibly valuable, not only for the consumer who loves the idea of being able to see other people and interact because ultimately you know, beverage alcohol consumption typically is a social activity. Uh, but also one of the things that we've really enjoyed is that it's become like a virtual focus group. Uh, we've been able to feedback to, to brands uh, things like people's perception of the bottle and labeling, people's perception of the taste or the price point. Uh, we found that there's a lot of uh, good that's come out of these challenging times. Uh, that said, like many of my other panelists mentioned, we've noticed that there's a lot of challenges in uh, the fulfillment space and in the home delivery space for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, as it was mentioned, you know, we've seen growth in essentially six months with what usually would take 10 years. So I think the industry is paying, uh, excuse me, I think the industry is playing a bit of catch up, which is, which is fine. And ultimately we help to enable that. Uh, what we bring as part of our operations and part of our facilitation of these stories direct to consumer is a total solution. So we can create the content, we can create and produce the physical content. We've done both live streams weekly, both in Spirits Network and on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and then we've also enabled uh, the delivery and the fulfillment experience uh, with our partners and being able to help ensure that the customer experience is, is superior. So one of the things that I really enjoy about Spirits Network, and I encourage everybody to go to spiritsnetwork.com and sign up and try this out, is watching uh, a, a great piece of content. You know, we have documentaries, for example, Tales from the Cast, The Spirit of Don Julio talks all about uh, what it's like to watch um, a, an influencer and someone who has a lot of knowledge in the space go to the region of Mexico where tequila is produced learn from the locals, experience the culture, the nightlife. Uh, obviously, we produced this pre-COVID, but in a time when travel is, is probably something we're all itching to do, this is a really cool escape. And this is a, a scene from that, uh, that piece. And it's a, a, an 18-minute documentary, a mini documentary, if you will. And it really is through the eyes of our influencer and our, and our expert. And what you'll notice is that you have the ability to purchase. And so as you're leaning back on your big plat, you know, flat screen TV, you have the ability to take your remote and, and in a simple click, uh, purchase that product and have it delivered right to your home. So we're excited about that experience. I find, uh, you know, it's a very lean back uh, experience as well, where more mobile is very lean forward um, in very short form. We have content for everybody. We have stuff that is two minutes long. Uh, Spirits for Beginners is one of our great series. In two to four minutes, you can learn about any category you want, you know, from cognac to, to vodka to tequila to single malt, 
Um, we have another great series called Whiskey Wednesdays uh, that we do every Wednesday live where it's a virtual tasting with live Q&A. Uh, we also have a great show called Grilling It, uh, which essentially pairs uh, food and spirits together and shows you how to incorporate spirits into your uh, cooking, but also to great uh, pair, excuse me, also to pair great cocktails to those experiences. So one of the things that we get a lot of questions about from our uh, partners and from uh, the, the world is who is our audience and what does our membership look like? And so here are just some great stats that we're, we're proud of. We have a great reach of over 100 million devices. Again, uh, OTT, which is streaming TV, and that's a media industry term that basically means your Apple TV your Amazon Fire, your Roku. We're developing the platform for those channels. Right now, we're live on Apple TV. Uh, of course, Google and, and Apple iOS uh, App Store is another great place to find it, or spiritsnetwork.com. One of the things that we did was we really worked hard on the user interface to make sure that when you're on any of these devices, it feels and looks very similar, and it's as easy to use. Uh, we reach over 10 million spirits consumers. Uh, we're very targeted. Uh, we made a, a conscious effort early in this process to be something to someone versus being everything to everyone. Uh, we get a lot of views both on our network and we have partnerships with other syndication platforms like Maxim, for example. We syndicate all of our programming to their social channels and to their website. Uh, and we have other partners that we do that for, including um, traditional television. We have some announcements coming. We're going to be doing some TV integrations uh, on broadcast and cable. Uh, we also have done some really fun stuff. We were on Jimmy Kimmel Live, um, where Jimmy and, and uh, Guillermo ordered spirits uh, on the show earlier um, in the summer. Uh, we've seen, like I mentioned earlier, a 500% increase in, in engagement and subscriptions since uh, the beginning of COVID-19. Uh, we have a 55% female audience. I think that speaks volumes uh, to the to the audience that is really not being served in a lot of ways. I mean, clearly. Um, Females are making up a large portion of the new bourbon and single malt um, whiskey experience and also the, the category. And what you're seeing is more and more consumers, um, whether they're, you know, uh, in that 28 to 48 range, we typically find are most engaged with us. Um, you know, average household income of 75,000 or more. Uh, our cart sizes continue to grow. Uh, we have an average $198 cart size. 35% uh, of our customers are buying on our platform, and we can deliver in 30 states and in 50 cities. And, and part of what we're also working on is international distribution as well. We're going to be uh, working in, uh, in the European market at the beginning of next year uh, and beyond. You know, as I mentioned, you might have seen us on various places like Jimmy Kimmel Live. We've been featured in Fortune, uh, CNBC, Forbes, Fox Business. You know, the real exciting part here for us is that we've been able to really tell a story through entertainment. I think people are uh, frankly tired of commercials, tired of interruptive advertising. You know, my background is both as a TV and content and film producer, extends itself all the way through to working with major brands. So prior to being in the spirits industry, uh, we were working with major companies like Marriott, IBM, Walmart, Coca-Cola. Every brand has the same mission. They wanna tell a story and they wanna sell something. So Spirits Network uh, allows people to do that. So one of the things that makes Spirits Network so special and something that, that is really important to us as we build our network is that we are a community. We are inclusive of the spirits industry. We, we want to hear from every part of this industry. Uh, some of our faces of our programming and the people that are involved in our programming uh, are people that you've seen before, you know, folks like Fred Minnick and Flavian Desiblin, uh, Rob Floyd, uh, Peggy No Stevens. Uh, they're also people that you haven't seen before. And so, you know, we're excited to not only feature the faces of spirits that you've seen and the industry that you've seen, but also to bring new faces and to bring diversity. Uh, we've, we've had a great partnership with Samara Rivers and Black Bourbon Society. Uh, we have more of those types of partnerships coming out. Uh, we're launching new programming every week. So there's something fresh on the network all the time. We have feature films. We have documentaries. We have short form programming. We have stuff that's great uh, just for a quick bite, you know, snack, snackable content. But at the same time, part of it is the community. You know, the spirits industry 
I think is one of the very few communities out there that is a small industry uh, and it is really tightly knit. And we have a lot of respect and admiration for the people that have dedicated their career to it, but also, you know, the distillers and the, and the you know, the, the maturing brands, uh, as well as the bigger players and, and everybody involved. You know, it takes a lot of people to deliver that product to your home, you know, whether it's the delivery person all the way through to the producer and the distributor uh, and the people that are essentially making sure it's on those store shelves. So we're excited uh, about the future of this space. We are, are, are really want to extend an open invitation to anyone watching today to reach out to us, to collaborate, work with us. Um, we are creators. We are storytellers. We're passionate. We love this space. Uh, I picked the category to start our first network like this because I'm a big uh, whiskey drinker. I enjoy single malt uh, and a, have a new love for bourbon and, and all of the things that, uh, that bring this community together. So I want to thank you for having me today. Uh, I, I'm a, uh, honored to be part of this panel. I, I think everyone has brought some really great insight here. And uh, I would encourage you all to try spiritsnetwork.com and uh, become a member and, and sign up to our Bottle of the Month experience. And it's really something that uh, I think you'll enjoy.